Okay, this is what you get when you order your uh, Ford Focus Cougar, Galaxy, Mondeo, they're all the same, uh, cluster tester. You get the interface lead that plugs straight into the back of the cluster, which we will demonstrate in a minute. You get the OBD lead, okay, like that. You get a power supply, you just plug it into the mains. And then you get your Go Diag control unit, which looks the same as that. Okay, exactly the same. So I'm going to put that one back in the box because I've already got one set up. That can go back in. I'll just put that out of the way. Like that. We've then got our lead here. Okay, this lead goes into this unit. Plug it in and tighten it up like that. One and two. Plug it in like that. Okay, so now we've got our lead. We need a cluster, so here's the, here's the instrument cluster. Turn it round and we will plug it in. Right around would be really useful. Put it in the back so it locks in like that. Put it black back the back. Okay, so that's that. Now then the other end. We're using a an a maxi sys, an auto maxi sys at the moment, which is the interface lead that plugs into that. So we'll turn the power on. And we see our cluster is firing up. So let's just load the maxi sys. Okay, and I've already got it set for Ford and its instrument cluster we're interested in. Okay, and if I just want to do an active test on it, for example, uh, say the speedo, if we go speedo. Okay, we're in diagnostics, so if I go on, we should watch the speedo. There we go. And then off. Okay, if I want to do, for example, uh, the tachometer, I can do the same. So I'll let it connect. Tachometer on. Okay, and off. It will also, when we use the software, you can change the mileage. So if I go escape, escape, uh, you can use the mileage. Uh, you can change the mileage. You can do whatever you want with it. Clone, clone the clusters, everything with this uh, with this equipment. Okay. So I'm just going to go escape. So that's that. Turn the power off, and that that is it. So that's the Ford Focus instrument cluster tester. Now, if you want to calibrate the needles, when the needles uh, when the power is off. Uh, the needle should always be on zero. Okay, so let's go. So I'm going to fight turn the power on 12 volt 30 like this and then turn the ignition on we should watch the needles move see the middle needles move when they finish they should finish on zero Or as close as you can get okay like that So if you turn it off see how they drop so when, you, when you're repairing a cluster and you're putting it all back together again, make sure that when you switch it on, okay, and they've reset, they're as close as you can get to zero. Same as these. Okay. I mean, that, that's close enough. As long as it's reading more, uh, say for, for the miles, as long as it's reading more miles on the, on the read date than you're actually doing, that's good. If it's reading less miles, your uh, your the owner of the vehicle is going to be in trouble because they'll be speeding, and their speedo says it's driving less than it actually is. Okay, so I'll turn that off, and that is it. Okay, thank you for watching.